Let us understand how we can take care of range partitioning of tables. It is primarily used to create partitions based upon a given range of values. With list, we actually create partitions based upon specific values. With range, we have to create partitions based upon given range of values. Here are the steps involved in creating a table using range partitioning strategy. First, we have to create table using partition by range clause. We have to specify the column on which we want to apply this range partitioning strategy. Then we have to add default and range specific partitions. We need to ensure that it is working as expected by inserting data and validating by running some queries. When it comes to managing the partitions, if you want to drop them, we can detach and then drop the partition or we can drop the partition directly. Let's understand how to create the partition table using the range partition strategy. We'll be using the name users underscore range underscore part for this table. It contains same columns as users. We'll partition the table based upon created date field. As we have primary key on this table, we have to specify even this one as part of the primary key because when you try to partition a table with primary key, the partitioning key has to be prime attribute, which means it has to be part of the primary key field. Otherwise, it will not work. Then we will create one partition per year as part of the next topic with the naming convention users underscore range underscore part which is nothing but table name underscore four digit year. We will not be seeing how to manage partitions as part of this topic. We will see as part of the next topic. Now let's load the SQL magic and then let's create this database underscore URL environment variable so that Jupyter environment can connect to the database when we run some queries and execute the queries in the database. Now let's drop the table users underscore range underscore part if it exists. Then let's create the table using this create table statement. Keep in mind that the partition key which is nothing but created date has to be part of the primary key. If at all you want to partition a table which have primary key in it. Otherwise it will not work. As we have created the table successfully, let's go ahead and see how we can actually manage partitions. If you try to insert the data into this table, it will not work. It will just throw error saying that uh, there is not even a single partition to get data into. And hence first we have to add the partitions before we try to insert the data into the partition table. 